Hey guys, it's Josh again with Project Idea where we put ideas in action. Today we're going to be making this board into a miniature version of Majora's Mask. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider doing so and also hit the bell icon below to be notified on any future videos I may have. Hope you guys like this one. Uh, this is the first time I've tried my hand at carving uh, using my rotary tool and I really enjoyed it. I might do some more of this in the future. Um, I've been watching some of Bobby Duke's stuff on his channel and he does a really awesome job at it. So I wanted to try my hand at it too and it's pretty fun. I would definitely recommend y'all trying this. Of course the first thing I had to do was cut out the basic shape of the mask and in this instance here the mask is actually just a heart shape. I then cut down a dowel rod into several pieces that were about an inch and a half long. This will be the, the spike type pieces around the edge of the mask. I drew on the basic design of the mask. Of course, all of this will be sanded away except for where the eyes are, but it gives me a good reference point to go by. And I just used the, used the sanding drum on my Dremel uh, to sand everything around the eyes down. Uh, it took some time and it was extremely dusty so if you do this make sure wear your mask. Here I was actually using the cutting tool that came with my, my rotary tool just to cut in a little deeper uh, give me a better reference point as to where the eye was rather than just the pencil in part and this worked really good for cutting in a deeper area so I had more to go by as I was cutting down into the wood. This is basically what it looks like before I get the rest of the designs on. Uh, after this, I just redrew the rest of the designs on the mask and I used a burr bit to carve this in. In the future, I would like to get some more burr bits because these will actually work really good for carving on the wood and such. And that's kind of what they're made for. Um, but they make these in several different, different types and such. So maybe in the future. As of right now, I was using what I had and it worked out really good. After that, I used a drill bit and just drilled holes around the side and the top where each of the spike pieces will be coming off the mask. As you can see here, the spikes are not pointed yet. It will look a little weird if we don't fix that, so we're going to sharpen these. After all that was done, we decided to glue them all together. So we just glued each one of those spikes in the hole that we had drilled. It was at this point that I realized the mask was the perfect size for Kitty to wear. She wasn't too keen on wearing the mask though. I started painting it at a lighter purple and realized it wasn't dark enough so I darkened the purple up a little bit and then started painting all the rest of the details on the mask. There is a lot of detail on this mask but the closer you get to finishing uh, the better and better this thing starts to look. Um, it is tedious especially with the little fine details but it's well worth it in the end. I like the way this one turned out for us. I hope you guys liked this build. I had a lot of fun with it and may do some more of this kind of thing in the future. Uh, let me know if you like this kind of thing. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure and do so. 
before you leave. Um, also, check out some of my other videos. Maybe you like some kind of things. I do some cosplay stuff, some a little bit of woodworking. I'm trying to learn as I go, and a lot of these things that I am doing, I'm learning as I go. After it had dried, I went back with a blade and scratched it and scraped it. Just kind of wore some places down on it, make it look a little weathered and worn. I did this before sealing it up with clear coat. That was the final step at the very end. Once again guys, thank you so much for watching this video and um, go check out Bobby Duke's channel uh, since he was the inspiration really behind this one. I hope you guys like this one and I appreciate you. We'll see you next time. Thanks.